we're actually going to be going to our ovation event diaries like i promised so um you would remember that last week we did bring you the 81st birthday celebration of the Asama of Benin. i'm talking about chief gabriel Ibinedion. um we're actually going to be bringing you another part this week which is the part which took place in South Africa. Very exciting birthday party. I can tell you that because I was there. So many dignitaries in attendance. He had his sons. Everyone came out to celebrate with him. So we're going to be showing that right now. Um, and that is the 81st birthday celebration of Sir Dr. Chief Gabriel or Sawaru Igbinedion in South Africa. Hello Ovation TV lovers, my name is Dala aka The Goddess and I am coming at you from Johannesburg, um, Stanton actually, where we are here for the birthday of Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Osawaru Ibinedion, the Esama of Benin Kingdom, who is turning 81 this year. Now we're actually um, headed out, um, we're going to be having a little uh, meeting with the King of South Africa. Yes, he is going to be meeting the King of of South Africa so that's what we are going to be doing now and um, I don't know what's going to be next because I hear that he likes to go around and visit a couple of people once it's around his birthday time so we're going to be following him and finding out how Chief Ibinedion celebrates his 81st birthday in South Africa do not go anywhere ovation on TV is on D. As you can see, there are very many dignitaries who are all coming out for this birthday um, expedition, is what I'm going to call it, because it's not just a party. They're going to be cheering us around uh, South Africa as well. And um, talking about birthdays, how exotic is it for you to celebrate your birthday? Like, what comes to your head when you want to throw a birthday party? I don't know. My birthday is actually coming up soon. I'm thinking about what to do. So what do you think is... Uh, the best way to celebrate your birthday you can always go to ovation tv online and just answer this isn't the vox pop question okay this is me just asking There is a very good close relationship between our two countries. Yeah. As I've been in the uh, you know, province of Benin, being a guest, it is so important to me as I represent and ex my people, the Zulu people. In South Africa. God has brought us together. Thank God is over. You have said and healed the name on the earth, but you are still the head. In the whole world today, there are very few of you.
After the meeting with the Zulu King, we made our way to the newly acquired home of Chief Ibinidion in South Africa. All right, we have just arrived at the home of Chief Ibinidion, and from where I am standing, this is a very exquisite structure. There is so much plantation around here, so much vegetation, and this is totally the highlight of the house for me. I haven't even gotten inside yet, and I am so excited to be here. So I will be taking you, hopefully, on a tour of the house of our soon-to-be 81 year old chief Ibinedion. Um it's not even soon to be it's already his birthday so um before all the craziness starts this is me saying happy birthday sir and um enjoy your day I'm hoping that you are enjoying um, the parts of the house which we are bringing to you. Um, I will be bringing you more, but so far you've gotten to see the kitchen, you've seen the, the patio at the back, you've seen this very beautiful swimming pool. I actually feel like taking a dive, but I'm not dressed to do that. And I hear that it's actually a really new house, like he hasn't even slept in the house yet and we're getting to have um, lunch with him which is very spectacular so i will be taking you on a tour around the house showing you more places um and there'll be much more for me to bring so do not go anywhere this is ovation on tv <laughs> are out here on a tour of the grounds of this very exquisite structure. Right beside him in the suit is the king of Zulu, or the Zulu king actually, um, the Zulu king. You did see him earlier when um, he had um, some lunch dinner meeting with um, the chief. So right now he's showing them the grounds. Um, it's a very beautiful place, it's very serene, the weather is very nice. What exactly it is that I love about this building and the entire compound, but one thing I can say, it was very intricately designed and um, it's a very beautiful structure. So um, you will be seeing more. Do not go anywhere. Do not leave your TV set. Ovation on TV is on the prowl.
This is the gift that I have been asked to hand it over to you by my brother here. I don't know what is inside. <laughs> Uh, let me be careful and see whether there is no other thing for it. So it reads thus GSS transfer remaining extent of portion one to one of the farm, Saddle Brook, number sixty one. The Valibia Trust to the Thompson Family Foundation Trust. So, I think that's all. I'm not going to read so many things. Yeah, that's what is there. This is the deed of transfer. It's not for you, it's for her. I am so grateful to Almighty God and to your good self, Your Majesty, for permitting me to be a tenant in your beautiful country. I know you come from Nigeria, and uh, I've been being interviewed in Nigeria about the relationship between our two families. So the chief has been a friend with us for a long time. But what you must know today, what has brought us together, is his 81st birthday, which actually I'm here with the Queen to congratulate him and uh, to feast whatever feast we're going to have tonight and to meet the other guests that he has invited. So as the man of his caliber, in business, the house that he, she, he just purchased for his wife, my sister standing next to me here, next to the Queen, is very appreciated to us because that is part of investment in South Africa. Because although they are Nigerians, but let's not forget, we are all Africans. If there are some people that qualify to invest in the continent, being Africans, that is going to bring a lot of interest to the people of South Africa, especially in this part of South Africa, Gauteng. Although he will never take the whole cake of employment or of unemployed people, but those that will be employed to take care of this place, I think they are going to do looking after their own families. And such a function to me, it's, so, it's of importance that it relates us closer to each other. So being close to each other, we can share a lot about the interest of our continent. How could we develop it? Wow, as you can tell right now, we're done with today's housewarming. I didn't even know it was going to be a housewarming. It was a surprise. But the person who got the biggest surprise today actually is the wife of Chief Ibinedion, Lady Cherry, who happens to now be the owner of this amazing mansion. She did not know that the deeds were going to be handed over to her by the Zulu King. There is so much surprise, so much amazement going on. So this is the reason why I tell you every single time, do not touch your TV set. Do not go anywhere. You might just miss something. I'm the one they call Dala, aka the goddess. And I will be coming to you with more.